What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Um, today, what are we doing, Raya? We are driving for dollars, so it's for a real estate business. It's one tactic you can use to get leads. Uh, so we are going to drive around in neighborhoods and look for ugly houses that look like, you know, they're in distress. And there's several different signs which we can show you when we're looking at the properties, but it's just basically a very beginner friendly way to get into real estate and it's something that we can start applying now that is something me and Tana are really good at and looking at things and you know physically seeing it that's a good thing to do when you first get into anything is physically seeing right not just doing things online all the time especially for us we're really uh, visual physical people so we want to go out and see um, as we're learning and uh, do that before we go like yeah, so we originally started driving for dollars, I think back in March. Um, what driving for dollars is, like basically what Mariah said, we're just driving around with an app on our phone. I'll show you later in the video. Um, and we're just looking for distressed properties, adding them to our phone so we can get their addresses. And then uh, then we'll skip trace their information and then we'll start getting a hold of them. What's skip trace mean? Skip trace is um, basically like what I just said. So we're gonna get their when we when you get their address, you can uh, use there's multiple softwares, but it'll basically take their address and do like a some kind of search on the internet, and then you'll get their name, their phone number, their email. So that way you can start reaching out to these people and you know see if they'd be a motivated seller and be interested in taking an offer on their house. Mm -hmm. So what do we do with properties? Like what's our goal in real estate as of right now? Our goal right now, so um, I, I, we just started getting into real estate uh, this winter. It's always been in the back of our mind, but we just never really took action towards it until recently. And You have to wait till you're in the right spot to do things sometimes, and now we're finally in a spot where we can... Yeah, and I think living in Phoenix uh, really helps and like got, got us to take action just because a lot of the, the big names and the you know, everyone that's doing big deals is in Phoenix. Um, so I think in June, we decided to invest in a mentorship with Pace Morby called Sub2. So right now, our main uh, thing that we're doing is uh, wholesaling real estate, which we're basically finding distressed properties, um, houses that need work, you know, that are in like original condition and buying them at a lower price and then flipping flipping the contract basically to an end buyer who's going to then buy the house do the work fix it up and then put it back on the mls and sell for a higher profit yeah or you know some clients will do like buy and hold or some buyers will do like buy and hold so there's three ways to uh you know buy real estate to, so to speak um you can wholesale it you can fix and flip it or you can hold it right buy and hold it and virtually like all of those are great but there's different stages you're probably going to be at in your life where wholesaling where you Tanner said you get a property under contract and you flip that contract you can get a deal and have it completed within like a week right so it's fast ca fast cash but it's today money not tomorrow money uh, so you know a lot of fix and flippers it's like more it's longer you wait longer you can wait several months sometimes before you get the proper get the property and then before you flip it um, on the MLS and make retail value uh, I think the average flip takes like three to six months but mm -hmm. it obviously varies project to project yeah exactly um, but you make larger profits than wholesaling typically wholesaling you can make you know we've heard of people making seven figures uh, wholesaling and then the third way is to uh, buy and hold property. So, uh, you know, you're going to purchase it from either a wholesaler or, you know, just finding the property yourself and then buying it to hold it. Some people will fix up a property and then hold it. You know, just because you buy a property doesn't mean you have to keep it as is or, you know, uh, you'll often renovate it slightly like lipstick uh, if you're going to, you know, put it as a rental. But we, I think, are focusing more on wholesale right now because we want quick cash so we can build up our wealth and then uh, focus on also building our po portfolio of rentals as well and then you know once you've been in real estate a long time you'll do bigger deals like multifamily and getting apartment complexes which falls under the buy and hold category or you might do development where you develop like housing developments and sell them which is you know fix and flipping technically so it always falls under those three categories and uh, right now we're focusing on wholesaling and then maybe getting some rentals to start building our portfolio through creative finance, which Pace Morby talks about. And we can get into 
to in another later video. Yeah, we're not gonna go all in depth about uh, creative finance and sub no. two right now. It's right very, now, I uh, just wanted to kind of just start documenting the journey as well and just tell you what we're doing in the moment and you know share what's working, what's not, and what makes the most sense to us. And like I said, today we're just gonna go out um, and just look for distressed properties. And the reason we're doing this, uh, when we first started, like I said, I started uh, driving for dollars. And then once I got into the mentorship and then kind of got to know more people, I saw what everyone else was doing and kind of just got shiny object syndrome. And, you know, just because mm -hmm. that works for someone else doesn't mean that it's gonna work best for you. Yeah, there are um, so many different ways. Like this is- There's no right or wrong way. You just have to do what, with what uh, makes sense in the current moment, I'd say in your life which just resonates with you and just with our schedule and our time with couch flipping that we're doing we're out driving a lot so for us as far as um acquiring leads it just makes sense we're out driving through neighborhoods we're a lot of the people we talk to too you know you can find deals like that that are moving out or you know the last week we picked up a couch um haven't reached out yet but don't know the full story but it just from like five years ago to now i think it was some renters that moved in but it looks like they ran through the house and it's, uh, it was shows distress. lots of signs of, of, of distress. Um, so Those are the best properties. Yeah, so I mean, find deals like that. So this is just what makes sense for us right now. Um, obviously right now we're not couch flipping, we're in the car. I wanted to make a video and just have a little bit more time like, like when we're not in the moment couch flipping. You know, we're kind of just like... We're very quick um, pace and always doing something and busy. So. We make, when we make content, we try to do it when we can multitask. And so we wanted to do a little bit of more driving for dollars today. We did it earlier uh, this morning when we were picking up a couch. And so just thought we'd add to our list that we've developed. And at the end of the week, we'll go ahead and we'll skip trace and then reach out to all of those potential leads. Yeah. And like I was saying, we first started driving for dollars until... Uh getting into like the mentorship and then just getting to know other people. What what I wanted to start doing was uh, agent outreach. Basically, you're just cold calling, um, you know, talking to agents and building relationships with them and having them send you uh, deals like that that are about to pop on the MLS or um, That's good when on market can... properties. But the, the best properties are to get off market properties. And that's good when you have more time and we'll focus on that when we step away from couches. Cause like we've said in other videos, uh, couch living for us is just a stepping stone. Uh, we might, you know, scale it as a business where we can hire people and step away from it that way and still make income. Um, but we'll just have to see exactly what fits into our life because it's not something we can focus all of our time on uh, once we're into real estate and doing the other stuff uh, that we're going to do. Yeah, so we're just cruising through some neighborhoods now. Why don't you go ahead and pull over and then uh, we'll show them like uh, the batch driven, the app that we use. Sure. All right, so I just got the batch driven app right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up. Yeah, there's many different softwares you can use, but this is one that we're using currently. Yeah, I recommend batch driven. If you'd like to try it out, I'll put a link below. Um, I think you get like a seven day free trial. So right now, um, if I want to view existing leads, this is just kind of the inside. These are some houses that we drove or that we picked up this morning that we added uh, when we were driving. But right now I'm going to go ahead and click on start tracking. And I'm, I have a new folder. I'll talk more about that. And then basically all we're going to do is go drive around, um, show like where we're at. So this is where we're at, and then if Tanner wants to add like a So say the property right next to us is 2904. Go ahead and film that. There's 2904. Obviously this home would not be a good driving for dollars lead because it looks pretty well taken care of. So we're looking for houses of distress, but let's say it was, I would just go ahead and click 2904. Um, and then I click view details and then take a picture. And then I just save it. And then later on, or at the end of the week, I'll go ahead and skip trace all of these addresses and then I'll start reaching out to them. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and drive around and see what we find. So we just added this property right here. As you can tell, you know, obviously the grass has not been taken care of in a, in a while. Look at the blinds. You can see they're pretty old and there's some boards in the windows. And it looks maybe like vacant, like nobody's even living here. So we're gonna go ahead and add that one. Yeah. 
So we were just driving and then we saw this corner one. Um, I told Mariah to go back. What's going on with this one, Mariah? This looks like um, a fix and flip property. I will circle that. I'll just stop here because we're waiting for a car. But um, this looks like a fix and flip property. We actually saw the vacant lot next to it first, and those are good to add. Um, how can you? What's a good indicator as to uh, how do you know it's a fix and flip property? Well, there's a huge dump trailer, and also when we went on the app or whatever, it showed us that an LLC owned it. And it looks really run down. Not just so. that lot though, this one too. Well, that's what I mean, the vacant lot. Next yeah, so to it we saw the vacant lot first and then uh, right next door you can see um, obviously the trailer and that one's getting rehabbed. And then when, like Mariah said, when we clicked on the app, we could see that the same owner, the LLC or the entity owns both lots. So they probably already bought those, but that's a good contact to have because I can reach out to those and those would potentially be a buyer if I got any of these uh, properties under contract in this neighborhood. You know, they're buying in this neighborhood, so. Yeah. We just added that house as well. Because you can see it's pretty overgrown. Um, some, some shingle damage, it looks like we just haven't taken very good care of it. So we just added this one, guys. As you can see, there's a hole right in the roof. Obviously, that's a clear indicator of uh, distress. He has a bunch of old boats and cars in the front driveway. Uh, long grass. We'll definitely be reaching out to you. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I think uh, the sun's starting to go down, so we're going to wrap it up soon. But if you would like to try out Bass Driven, I'll have a link in the description. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like us to do more videos like this and talk about our real estate business or if you have any questions, um, I'd appreciate feedback. I mean, you know, leave your questions below in the comments. Do you got anything to add? Any future video recommendations is very helpful. Um, obviously, since you're the one watching, uh, we'd love feedback and just like video ideas, things you'd like to see. I mean, like our ideas are, you know, just business endeavors, lifestyle, travel, things like that. So, yeah, that? so hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe as always, and we'll see you next video.